We can all agree that cosmetics are a huge part of Sea of Thieves. However, one of the places where I feel that cosmetics are underutilized is the ship. Different variations on layouts which would just give the game so much more life. I feel it would be a great addition to the game and perhaps something we could see in the upcoming seasons 6 and 7. Before we get into the video, make sure to join over 400 members in the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you would like to join the Penthouse suite along with so many others, visit the link in the description. If you'd also like to support the channel and myself in making more content, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button for exclusive rewards. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, it's completely free and I would love to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. So each and every one of you can help by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing the channel with your friends and family. Currently we have three base ship types in the game, Sloop, Galleon and Brigantine. Now Rare already announced that they are unable to see a way in which ships like the Man of War with a 6 player capacity could work in this game and I do agree with them. That is until they remove previous generation consoles from the game they can focus on making more graphically demanding as well as increasing server capacity. However this won't happen anytime soon, the only way we would be able to see the removal of these consoles would be for there to be less than a percentage of players on the old generation Xboxes. Instead let's look at what can be done now. In my opinion, the best way of utilising the limitless possibilities of different ships, both past and present, would be to keep the same three base ships, but just add variations. For example, let's take a look at the brig specifically. At its core, we have two sails, two cannons, a one deck ship, meaning the top deck and then the underside of the boat. The anchor is placed almost at the centre of the ship, with the wheel being at the back of the boat. Now if we take a new design, say the pirate ships from Singapore, these look vastly different to the standard brig which we see in Sea of Thieves. However, it carries all the same principles and functions as the main ship mentioned before. It just adds so much more to the game, allowing players to live out their pirate's life the way they want to with a ship they are happy with. Now this may seem like a pointless change, however if you think about it, even seeing other ships on the horizon, let's say for each ship class we have three different boat customizations. There will be so much variety in coming up against different ships, it just makes the world of Sea of Thieves seem so much more in depth. Now obviously these different boats would need to be cosmetic only and function with the same speed stats as the three main boats, otherwise that opens up for a whole lot of criticism. And even things such as where the anchor is placed would matter too, as if on one type of boat, the anchor is placed further away from the ladders than the rest of the brig customizations, for example, this would then give that ship an advantage as it will take longer time for boarders to drop your anchor and allow, obviously, you more time to kill them. I do genuinely think that it's most likely the reason why we haven't seen this in Sea of Thieves yet, uh, as it would need a lot of work being balanced. And as we know from the sword combat in this game, it's not the easiest thing to do. We aren't asking for the max crew size to be turned up or down, keep the three variations on the same two player ships, three player ships and four player ships. Honestly, I think that is the one thing that Rare has gotten perfect in this game, is the crew sizes. And with people's cries for a man of war, I just don't see how it would work with six people. Fights on land would be a mess, standing no chance if you're a sloop or even a brig in this case. The ship itself would be ungodly slow. And if you think sailing a galleon against wind is bad, imagine the man of war. Overall, I just think that even having the opportunity to change the look of your ship to have a different sail and boat shapes, while also allowing people to customise the colours, cannons, etc. just adds so much more depth to the pirate's life. And I guess I feel even stronger about this now since the pirate's life update, where we get to see the flying dutchman, the black pearl, and how those ship layouts would function in this world. It's a super cool concept and I would really love to hear your opinions on it, so make sure to comment your own thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel.